the understand the story of Jesus Christ. In the New Testament, the story of this man, we are the generation, his wife, to the sweet object is best. But he will not leave us until he fuses with us and eat our all. He is God's will of us to give himself to man. And so there are no others in the world, just God and man and the man, only man. For the people who will be able to meet, it will only be you and you who will be God as the soul. That God himself enters their snow. All of this is now to enter. But may his son and pray with you in visions of eternity to bear with you and see Jesus. I believe in God is why that the females are overborn. It's my mother Lord, this God of flesh and blood. This is the meaning of God she wants to be. And God himself in the best room with God where I enter. I lay down on the grave with me. In visions of eternity. Now, how do I know it? How do I know the action in it? I must read the story of God. For the story of Jesus is an active parable, the most audacious promise of what one day will really be the experience of the believer. So you and I tell the story. Does it fall on ground ground or receptive soil? The soul of the Holy Spirit, when he sums the word, the message of salvation, and so hear it, I will be accepted, giving me all the things that are possible to God. Others are it, but like the bishop, rejects it. And I even admit, the strange imagery that has no basis whatsoever in this modern scientific age. Others who have been dumb to believe it, but the cures of the day are greater than their faith and its strength. But they are a few of us who gave people, and we are quite willing to go through the year for the fulfillment of their prophecy. That God will give Himself to me, and so will give me to be right in me, to be right in me, I am that man. But how will I know it? What His story tells me, how I will know it. The gallant sun, as I walk the earth, it comes like a beast of the night, because in one moment in time, the world is complaining, and great. In the name of the mother, and I believe it. And then he grew in secret. For he who began to do what he did, he promised he would bring it to completion. But the day he called Jesus Christ. Well, what is that day he called Jesus Christ? Well, I must read it. Because he wants me to see this stretch from the page, the incarnation of Jesus. Because he doesn't know the mystery. A one million vision to the world, what was that he didn't know the mystery? To think a little child was born 2,000 years ago, in some strange and deep manner, that's not the mystery. Christ himself, which is not the word of Jesus in Jehovah, if I start in Hebrew, if there was someone on the other day in Jehovah, Glory to God, Shinari, where there's a reason for Shinari not being on the earth, but the core of the word, the root to be glory to God. And the word being Jehovah says, as you tell by the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your 
had become invisible to man. He who dwelt among them now dwells in them. He dwells in them so that they can see them. And he's looking for them to come from the outside, showing them some strange way to see them in the clouds. And all of you are set in coming, there was me on the outside. Now the story was told to man. And the story is how it becomes invisible because he takes up presence in man. For his name is I am. That's the name of Jesus. It's John A. John A. No, John. I am the same. If they ask anything, just say, I am a sinner. That's my name forever. And by this name, I must be known throughout all generations. For no one said, I am. But you're looking for something other than the presence. So may I tell you, the fundamental sin is lack of faith in I am He. You can't name man for most except in the back. But he himself is the presence that he's seeking. But the day will come when he will not be on all doubt. Because everything said of Jesus Christ in the scriptures, he himself will experience. And when he experiences all these things, he dealt with two beings. But he's not only going to come from the mouth, for he came from the wind. That's what he entered. God himself entered death's door, the human star. A man down in the very grave of man, in visions of eternity. And he had no visions, no dreams, no night dreams, no rain dreams. These are the visions of eternity. Until he wakes. And that long stretch will last 6,000 years. And when he comes to the end, he will say with that, I behold the visions of my daily dream of 6,000 years, gathering around my spirits like a serpent of precious stones and gold. And then this is what's going to happen. But his words, but he not give us his words, he will know them, and he will see the blood of God, his golden victory light. And this is what he will say, I know it is myself. And then he will cry out, Oh my creator, I believe in God. He will make us his choice. And as a husband, it is all free to you, but to be become one. Not to be one, but you will say, I know it is my very self, or my divine creator, and we give up. And then he views with the power of God, will ascend into heaven. And you will know the history of this great character, the supernatural being. This sheep actually in the ground of the divine descent and ascent, for that is wrong, descends to the level of heaven, and in descending has to die as God. And this is a great mystery of life through him. He died by becoming man and being death's door. And being for six thousand years, all the horrors of the world. And when the word is finished, when the word is going to reach in man, the fusion is taking place. They are doing war. He is going to the wall of tissue and made of two, one new man. And you are the one new man. And then you see the very blood of the same world. And you fuse with it. And as it 
But you could be me. All of us have tribulation. I ask you to believe me. I can't believe you. But I know what's in store for the people. I know the people. Because you reach the very end of the journey here. Now to the last place, I would say to realize what I was trying to do. They make the things in their own. Only to be restored to life just like this. Only to die again. This over and over and over. I mean, this experience takes place. I was told this in the dreadful chapter of the book of Luke. So we are asking a simple question. Who asked the scientists of the day? They were called Sadducees. They did not believe in the resurrection. Any more than the scientists of the day. They can't find anything that survived the grave. They open up the skull. They analyze it or in a microscope, and they can't find the soul by any instrument that makes them the bodies. So as far as they're concerned, it doesn't exist. There can be no resurrection. So knowing that there is no resurrection in their mind, they ask the question, tell me, teacher, Moses in the law said that if a man dies, and he has no offspring that the man was married. If he has a brother, the brother should marry him to raise up his four brothers. But there were seven brothers. The first one was married, and he died leaving the offspring. And the second took one, and he died leaving the offspring. And the third took one, and the fourth one, and the seven married. And they died leaving no child. But then she, the woman, died. Whose wife is she in the resurrection? Now, bear in mind, he did not believe in it. It's a catch question. But as we begin to put him on the spot, <laughs> and this is the answer that comes from the supernatural being who divides the entire drama for the divine purpose of doing himself to us. And his answer is this. You do not know the scripture. For the sons of this age, who the Greek of the Bella translated, the Roman Greek, and now more, but our Bible uses the words marry and argument in marriage, which will imply co creation and birth. But it's far better, and you understand it better, if you would say the sons of this age, they co create. And they are born. But now, before I come to work, to attain to that age, to the resurrection from the dead, they neither procreate nor are they born. For they cannot die anymore. They are now sons of God, sons of the resurrection. For that it comes that all other and the resurrected must die again. So if someone dies for them, and has not been resurrected, in that manner I tried my best since that moment in my first life to kill, they are being taught to life. And they are in a world just as real as this. Solid and Yes, they are not in that too. They procreate their children. And they cry their children. Just like this world. Just this world. With all the problems that we have here in this world. So the redemption is to be redeemed from this age. There are two ages spoken of in scripture. The sons of this age, but they also want to come to the world into a thing that age. And that is the age of the resurrection. So how do I know the story? Well, all of a sudden, all of the seventy begins to unfold in me. If it unfolds in me, then I know I am he. That's the only way I ever know that God's 
seeds in the hands of you, he can hold back one little bit. So he's the father of the man. And all the other the son of life as a boy, and the boy comes and calls you father, then he is completely his best to give you himself. And that means to give you father. And then he takes you up. As your children who is yours, he speaks the temple of the temple, which is your flesh. And then your own God, not the God of the woods, and the God of dogs, and the God of gods, but your own precious blood, the divine blood. And you take it right up into the temple, through the temple of the flesh. And then comes the final. And that is when the whole world is sealed. And that's the descent of the devil. And the devil descends and smothers you with affection. Then he smothers you with affection. The word is finished. For that is the descent of the Holy Spirit in the form of a dove. And the wind that is present is the wind spoken of the very end of the John. There are four different endings in the four Gospels, and John named the deepest, and he breathed the Bible, and he said to them, receive the Holy Spirit, as he breathed the Bible. But the Holy Spirit comes symbolized as a dove, and sends the body in the most gentle manner, and his mother's you with Jesus. And so I tell you that no one must read you. From the truth of this great story, it's all told in the Old Testament as the foundation. And the new is the interpretation. You can't separate them. There will be no new without the old. And the divorce they both of you, they will have no root. They will have no foundation. So the Old Testament is the story, it's the foundation story. And the new is the interpretation. And you told the prophets who prophesied that the coming of this strange supernatural being, they inquired what personal time is indicated by this strange prophecy as they were inspired by the Spirit. But they were told the time was not yet. So until the time came, no one could foresee how to happen. And you look at this wonderful history and prospect that is so different from what it comes to be seen by you, which were in it, in retrospect. I know myself, I could never have envisioned what would happen before it did happen. So I should have said, this is how it happens. And you may want to know, is there another person in the world who has had these dreams? Tonight, I can answer in the first. A friend of mine in LA, who's been coming to my meetings for the last three years, he has a rich one. A man not like my age, I'll be 51 my next birthday, but he is 54. Okay, I'm not. Five months ago, during the birth of the child, but like all the women in the world, when well, the child comes in a similar manner, it need not be a duplicate of your next door name of birth. I have a niece who has had three cesarean operations, the children are normal. They need to have taken out each other. Now, a cesarean is not a normal or natural birth, but it can be both the child. So she has three sharp children that are alive in her world. The others will come in another manner. So I cannot say it must come in this and this object. No. For he is given someone not too much. He will find himself before I'm going to say. The wind is an person wind. You can't describe it. It's wind because the word wind and spirit are the same in both Greek and in Hebrew. So if you use the word spirit, or you use the word wind. And so, they use the word wind, sometimes use the word spirit. But in my own case, it's wind. But he thought of wind, permeating his own wind. And he thought, what's happening to me? I do not know. Or a stroke would be lighter than I had one. But I might have a stroke. What is taking place in my world? And this 
that they the Lord of all, and his name all. And their names by him, by him, is not seen by two, it's one. So I tell you, the name that you and I will be one. For you'll be the father of my son, the Lord of 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 the Lord so we know that you can quite extract the meaning of the sins, but don't try to change it to make it fall to your concept on this level. It's not only for this level. It's written as a whole. The man will take it to the judge's support, but we need the most incredible story in the world. The God is God. I think mean, God made mean, us so alive, we will wake one day as God. If God becomes man, then man may become God. That's the most incredible story in the world, and yet I tell you it is true. So you try it. Well, try it. You accept it. I will show you. So, sorry. The time this place is coming to you. At the revelation of Jesus Christ. Don't be afraid of these two words. Jesus Christ is the only one who wants you to be a nation. That's Jesus Christ. He's already in the best world. Listen to these words. If we will be united with Christ in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. So here, the death is over. We have been united with him. It was just like this. He had the best door to see him stop. And therefore, we now know that if we are united in his death, we shall be united in his resurrection. And he resurrects in us one by one. That's the resurrection. And it's only Jesus Christ that really resurrects with the resurrection. For you not him. Don't be ashamed. You are him. And what will you do with You are Jesus. And Christ Jesus and the whole of our one is no room for two. But we simply be unfolding with the interpretation of every mission as described and given to us in the Old Testament. Now that is going to the side of us. Translation, they say, for my taking thought with that one spirit. 
to his death. But that was not the only thing that the apostle wrote about. No, the modern translation in the Revised Standard Bible is saying he was in space and he was tired. But he said, Well, I be anxious to add one hour to his span of life. But that's an entirely different interpretation of that big message. Now, what I read, I do not know what was the intention of the author when he wrote that. I know time would be in the Old Testament. It's a meaning with Ecclesiastes. It's a time to be born, time to die. Now, the great plan is the time to enter into the new things to the plan. You might be given a certain freedom of interpretation when you're on the stage. And you say, well, then you're the poor. But we have a cue to enter and a cue to exit. And so the Ecclesiastes did not allow us. So I want you to believe that any scientist would prolong your life now, in spite of the claim of the contrary. They came at the day with a new diet, a better understanding of diet, that even the young man had to do wrong, that belongs to his age. The section of time called the 20th century. But when you see it, the 16th century has not ceased to be because to us in the 20th century is history. It is still taking place, and this will always be taking place. So the view is close, that's what he said, and Zeke tells us, and that's what Ecclesiastes tells us. Please don't think of it as saying, see, this is you. This is the normal view. The age is past, but there's no remembrance of all the things. No shall there be any remembrance of things to come out among those who are coming. But that was written. Three, four thousand years ago. But we don't believe it today. We believe you can by watching your diet and doing this and doing the other. And suddenly you've got a person like a church who violated every rule in the book concerning diet and health. Smoked 20 or so hours a day, drank in or so many of them, ate like a pig, and finally at the age of nine or eight in London. And the dietitians who know all about it, you read their book in the morning, and he's 52. And with a heart attack, or you know something else. And they know everything about it, but they make the lazy one time. But you have some ladies say, I'll find you. I'm afraid of mine, and I'll get to you one more. What must have been on years ago? He was an alcoholic in the street, trying to be out of I mean, his father had meetings and wanted to be brought home. And so he asked my father to bring him home when he came to Ireland. Though he found him, he had a cup of real meat. And drinking this strange, strange alcohol, he was going to his face. Well, no longer even, well, you could have put me in the bag and it wouldn't be a month. But he's still there. He's now about 85, 87. How did he survive? I want to see all the dietitians look at it. And yet, you can't see the kid. He drinks anything on the stone. He eats everything, and he can't see the dog. The dog that he has in the view. No. No. Then he was in 6,000 once, he did say the age, but he's 6 to 6. Trying to hold him in and divide him, he's equal to 6,000 years. This is how I see the present, past, and future. 6,000 years. And the claim, as far as man goes, that he has to dream the dream of life while the work is being done with him. For the time of which remains the right of which let us make man in our age. That's the decision. And so, that's the wish of God to make man in his image. But he can't give himself to a man that is not his image. She has to complete it and perfect it. So be ye perfect as your God in heaven is perfect, we're told. When that image is by a God is perfect, he gives him himself. Is that a sin? Any other questions?
this. The evolution in the terms of man is in the creation of God alone. No. In the terms of man, the time when I used to hold a pain on it, with a hole. Today we use a tractor to do it. The time when a man can go around, go across the river, a baby ball, some other means of doing it on a ball. In a sailboat, in a steamboat, I think that's the big ocean line of that. And so we get that man, and in the terms of man, we can see the evolution. But there is no evidence, it's all the claim that a bird was anything other than a bird. A bird always will raise its nest. And birds are making their nest today as they did as far back as man can go. He can't find where a bird was never, all of a bird. In spite of the claims of the earth, but there's no evidence to support it. We have been. Go to all the museums, and you might find some artist that you can buy or play and try to prove a proof for me to show what our scientists mean. The other of saw me that I gave this, and then we came back, and we came back. But we have nothing to support it. What? Well, that's not about the end that way. You are an enemy. It's not about the end that way. One man in the submarine, you have a plane, and the other one. Don't take the Bible down to this level. Adam and God put his way. They are really wrong. If you take the word of the word, you are in love with it. It's paid by me. The ancient Hebrew meaning of the word was to fall, or constantly, the one who causes the fall, or it was to blow, or constantly, the one who causes the wind to blow. So that the fall was a deliberate thing on the part of the Creator of God. The fall is not what the church is talking about. You and I, as we talk about the church, now may all men. This reading, we have a chapter of the book of Romans. He made us this reading that he may have mercy to all. So, all of this reading, so man had to take the world of medicines and get the world of experience and then move out of the world of medicine. And so, to take the world of medicines, I must have experience. So, I teach other knowledge of the people of the world. So conscience is born. You can even get a person that has no conscience. You can show you that I'm thinking that I'm wrong. You're not even doing your mind, but he has no problem. But if he tastes of the knowledge that we need, and it is the world of experience, for then, from then on, the world of experience is going to suffer with his conscience. And then he will awaken into the world of imagination. But he has to go out of the world of innocence into the world of experience. So it's a plot, it's a plan. He plays everything as it is come up, and it's going to be consummated. So you tell him, again in Isaiah, as I have planned it, so shall it be. And as I have practiced it, so shall it stand. And my words will not turn back. This is not turn my life. Until I have executed and accomplished the intents of my life, in the latter days, you will understand the word. But now that the very end, will man understand the necessity for suffering? If I didn't suffer, I could put my hand in fire. This was a hand. But he didn't have to be now to put my hand near him and he checked and gave it to me. But well, I couldn't detect it. I wasn't sad enough. No, I don't know my hand on So? So we have reason for the suffering behind it all. But in the end, the glory transcends the suffering. All the glory is brought into the sorrow for you. Man becomes, he does, 
Yes. Man's imagination is manifested in the imagination's focus. Look at this room right now. There is a thing in this room that was the first only imagination. Look at it. But not in the past as well. You can find one thing that was the first only imagination. between the actual stage and its fulfillment. It has to be first imagined. So I think you can ask the question, can man walk over where his imagination has never walked before? And the answer is no. We are now sending men in space. And they're getting out of their names and going in space. It has first to be imagined before it would be done. And so we are finding all kinds of things here below the earth, below the sea. Tomorrow, we will find things that love some cats floating in space. Or you may not find out, maybe. If that's wrong, someone will find the love that he lost. And some men will find the things that one day can do that. All things that man can imagine, man can realize. So I ask you to imagine only the number. Only the loveliest things in this world. And then at the number, they will happen. Until 